Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of the first chapter on organic chemistry. Today we deal with the structural theory of organic chemistry. So let's get started. KQ was the principal formulator of the theory of uh, chemical structure. He's also credited with coming up with the structure of benzene and uh, the famous story about Ouroboros dream where KQ once saw a snake biting its own tail which led to the structure of benzene forming is also very famous. August Kekul was one of the pioneering scientists who led to the development of this structure theory. We have Archibald Scott Cooper, a Scottish chemist. He proposed an early theory of chemical structure and bonding and he also developed concepts of tetravalent carbon atoms linking together. One difference with Kekul that he had was that he was open to the idea of a divalent carbon, which Kekul was not. Moving ahead, we have Alexander Mikhailovich Butlerov, who is said to have given out the following statement that the chemical nature of a compound molecule depends on the nature and quantity of its elementary constituents and also its chemical structure. Butlerov is also famous for discovering hexamine, formaldehyde, and also the much well-known Formos reaction. He also proposed the possibility of tetrahedral arrangement of valence bonds in carbon compounds. So these three men are often credited, though there have been many more who have contributed a lot to the formation of this structural theory. So what is this theory? The structural theory gives us an idea why there is a large variety in chemical compounds. It also asks the question, what is the order in which atoms are put together in a molecule? So if you have a molecule and if you have its weight, if you have its composition, what is the order in which the constituent atoms are put together? And also the common belief that a structural formula is powerful enough to give us a compound's complete physical data and also predict its chemical reactivity. So the structural theory has two very basic fundamental premises. The first one states that the atoms in the organic compounds can form a fixed number of bonds using the valence electrons. So when you come to carbon atom, it is tetravalent. That means there are four valence electrons. So as you can see over here, a carbon can form bonds with four hydrogens. Moving ahead, we have oxygen atom, which is divalent. And as you can see from the picture, the red ball is supposed to represent the oxygen atom and the white and black tubes are meant to represent the two bonds. Whereas finally, hydrogen and halogen atoms are monovalent. The second fundamental premise talks about how one carbon atom can use one or more of its valence electrons to form different types of bonds. So over here you can see that there are three types of bonds that can occur between two carbon atoms. So you have a single bond, a double bond and a triple bond. This is the second fundamental premise. So that's it for this video. Keep watching the videos and understand organic chemistry better. Thank you very much.